Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Bo here from Guitars and Games. How are you all doing today? Hope everybody is doing good. Welcome into the channel. Welcome in. We are going to have a reaction video today. This is uh, Aurora playing Warrior uh, for live for Like a Version. Um, so we're going to get into that in just a second. I just wanted to say um, thank you to everybody for coming in and checking out the channel. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the views and subs we've been getting lately. Um, we're up to 1,078 subs right now. That's so crazy. <laughs> so insane. But I just want to say thank you all for, you know, coming in and watching my videos and commenting and subbing. And it's great. I really do appreciate it. I really do. Um, <clears throat> so apparently I'm going to speak like Harvey Firestein for this whole morning. So I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> it's spring where I am and then everything is blooming and killing me slowly. So we're <laughs> the plants are all out to kill me. So, but let's get into the reaction. All right. Here we, oh, we make a full screen. Derp. All right. Here. We go warrior. I really am really digging the fact that when she does stuff like this, I know I, I'm assuming they do it a little differently live with the full band, if they have a full band. But when she does these little like stripped down sessions, I just love that bass six that he plays that I love that guitar so much. I mean, it's just like, it's got so many tonal possibilities, that thing, and it can be used so many ways. Like, I've got a baritone acoustic, which is not, it's a little bit lighter, like, range-wise, a little bit higher than a bass six. Bass six gets a little bit lower. But the baritone acoustic, I mean, the things you can do with that are insane. And... I, I want one of those so bad, so bad. And they're not that expensive. That's the thing. It's like, they're not that expensive, but they're so cool. So cool. And of course, you know, a really sonically adventurous guitar underneath her voice, which is just insane. Insane. Let's keep going.
So is the song about fighting for what you believe, maybe? Not giving in and not being controlled, but fighting for what you believe, becoming a warrior? I don't know. What do you think? Okay, I just have to say one more thing real quick about the guitar. I know maybe you're not as obsessed with guitars as I am, but the way that that, basically, it's like, if you think about the way a classical pieces are organized, you have like the first violins, you know, the violins, violas, then you have the cellos, then you have the basses. So basically, you know, they operate within like a range. Each one has its range and they overlap little bits on the edges, but you know, each instrument pretty much has its range. So it handles its own section of the overall tonality of the song and the overall like soundscape that the, the song will create in an orchestral piece so like the bass six basically if you think about it orchestrally this song the bass six takes the place of the double bass and the cellos and her voice is the violins so it's like it creates this like just deep sonic pad for her to play off of beneath her voice, which I just totally love. I love the way it creates like, think of it like um, the basics is like the riverbed, like the river. And it's this thunderous, deep, solid wall of water that's just chugging along. And her voice is like light dappling off the tops of the water when you look, you know, so, I know that's a little, that's just how I, I, that's how my brain sees music. Like I picture it as like layers. I see, cause I do a lot of looping when I play, you know, on Twitch and on here, I do a lot of looping. So I have to think in the layered constantly which layer goes where and how and which layer fits with the other layer and how can i maybe put two layers together which you don't you think won't work but maybe when they're together that you know it's that kind of thing all right but let's finish up let's finish up sorry Did they just mess up the ending? It's what we all... No, that was it. Okay.
I think they, <laughs> they may have gotten their breaths wrong. <laughs> that was cute. I liked it. Well, that was a really good show. A really good show. That was a really good song. Um, you know, her message about... In that song, being a warrior of love. If you think about it, like... If you based all your actions, let me phrase this right. So if you, if you didn't, if this wasn't a consideration and it didn't matter, like your, I'm not talking about like your ideology or your, you know, all that crap, religious beliefs, all that polarizing stuff that everybody uses to like be like, well, I believe this, I believe this, I believe blah, 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 blah. If you based your actions in your life, like she said, as a warrior of love, to where you fight for love and you fight for happiness and you fight for you know, tolerance and not and tolerance. And like I said, I've said this before in other videos, you know, when people talk about inclusion and tolerance, it has to go both ways. You know, one side can't say you have to accept everything on this side, but we won't accept anything on there and you have to come to us. Same with, you know, the other side saying, well, we don't accept anything on your side and you have to come back to our side of thinking. You know, that's not how inclusion works. And that's not how society will move forward. The thing that we have to do as a society to move forward is to realize that not everyone thinks the same thing you do. Not everyone believes the same thing you do. Not everyone has to believe the same thing you do. And it doesn't matter if they do. Think about how much stress would be gone if you just focused on you and focused on like changing the world around you to make yourself better. And by proxy, you get better, the people around you get better. You know, you create the environment you live in. You can help shape the environment that you live in. And if the environment you live in is not good, go somewhere else. Figure something out for yourself. But don't sit there and live in a hellscape and then complain about living in a hellscape. You know what I mean? If you really feel like you need to change your surroundings to make yourself better, do it. That's the whole point of being able to be free and choose what you want to do. And I know that that'll get a little bit heated. And I'm not talking about specific terms. I'm talking about more of just a general mental outlook on things. And if you treat everything is fighting for love and happiness. You'll feel better. I think you will. I think you will. But I may be full of shit too. So <laughs> you never know, right? But I hope you all have a great day. Thank you all so much for coming and checking out the video. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Helps grow the channel. We're going to get start getting, you know, we need to start getting back into it a little bit. I think I might start doing some more live streams back on YouTube. I stream every day on Twitch. Every night and music twice a week too. But I think I might start to do some more YouTube live streams. So maybe we'll get into that a little bit soon. But you all have a great day. I will see you all soon. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love.